nestled in the Arden Forest waits an absolutely classic challenge. A throwback, and unashamedly so. The reputation of Spa Francorchamps speaks for itself. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Belgian Grand Prix. Spa Francorchamps then, a historic 19 corner circuit with a lap distance of 4.35 miles. There's over 100 meters of elevation change here and with long stretches of the lap spent flat out, a good top speed will be vital for success. Hello, the formation uh, lap here gets in Belgium. Then, and it's going to be interesting today to see how the dry conditions could affect I'm on the, the Xbox, lifespan so of the no tires. I'm on the you can still hear me on the high quality DJI line. And we're just lining up on the grid as it stands. We're here in Spa Francorchamps. I think that's how you say it. Sorry. Say it wrong. Something like that. Anyway, it's Spa Circuit. I'm only on an Xbox controller. I'm not on the uh, wheel. The wheel is the support Xbox. Otherwise, I would be on the wheel. And that's why I'm having a weekend break from live stream. I'm on the Xbox now. That was stupid for whoever was at the front. They want to kill us or what? Okay, mate, we might need to look at a new race strategy after that. I've got some options for you, so go and check your MFT. Okay, copy that. I think this is the longest track in F1. 4.35 miles. The last time I actually watched this uh, Grand Prix live was when Get Away One off. Seb was still around anyway, Sebastian Bell. Bettle was still around. Yeah. Well, box in pit window. P3, you're currently in P3. Stroll ahead, Norris behind. Okay, gap to leader, 4.2 seconds. Your pit window's now open, pit window is open. Oh, we've got pit window open. The box is in the we'll receive you at the end of this lap. And I know it were a short pit window here. Just one of them things. Probably from that stupid crash of the uh, yeah, we lost the Reaver Oscar Oscar Orlando. It wasn't in the flower. It was not in the flower anyway. Went in a bit, a bit too uh, aggressively there. I'm actually surprised that it's a four-mile circuit though. Very much surprising. I expected it to be shorter. Well, I'm boxing this lap. Are you alright? Engine off, engine off. I'll just smash my tyre off. Oops. The game is completely saved me now. Okay, let's go now. Come 
Well, perfect job from you and the crew there, mate. We're delighted with that. It's all right, mate. I've lost a bit of time. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. OK, DRS is now available. It threw me off in that car. El Rouge is the best corner at this circuit though. There's no doubt about it. It just is. One of them corners. I oversteered. Someone's gone off. It's happened. Green flag. We're in the course inspector. Okay, information on Bottas. Right, they've got a serious car issue. It looks like they're retiring. Bottas has just retired. Great. At least no one's crashed. It throws us about a bit on El Rouge. I have loads of different games with this circuit on them though. Like the new Forza Motorsport, that's got it on. That's just one of them. Uh, I think there's a couple more that I actually have that's got it on. A set of quarter I think has got it on. I'm only five seconds in front of all these guys now. The car in front is 4.7 seconds. Just got fastest lap. Okay, we're currently at the back. That's last place. And that's Hulkenberg. Not for ahead long. Okay, so the gap to the car ahead, 4.7 seconds. Look after these tyres now and want to finish the race on this compound. Okay, seven laps to go. It's soon going to be overtaking all these guys. So I'll just see it a bit there. Catching up to the pack now. Boss half is out and I'm the back of the pack at the moment, but I'm going to be changing very shortly when I do a switch back on Magnuson. That's Hulkenberg, not Magnuson. Doing an overtake on El Rouge is deadly though. That's why I just say don't do that. <laughs> do it anywhere else but not on El Rouge. Currently P11, currently P11. Gasly's ahead of you. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead please. 2.4 seconds. They're yeah, well them pitted. That's Hulkenberg behind. They're on old mediums. The distance to the leader is 24.7 seconds. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go.
Quite straight there and quick on the job. Nice overtake. No. Okay, mate, don't worry about I didn't mean to run into him. <laughs> I didn't break quick enough. Done it again. Okay, listen, don't worry about it, mate. It can happen to the best of us. Now, look, I've put a new strategy option for you in the MFDs. I hardly made any contact with him, so it's not considered illegal. I made a slight bit of contact. No! No, 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 no. Let's try again. <laughs> I know I did that, it was a bit stupid. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. I just please. lost it on the exit. He slowed down because he was going into the pit. That's P7 now. P7. It's Perez ahead of you. They've just entered the pit. Sergeant behind. And they've entered the pit lane. OK, they're on old softs. OK, so gap to the leader is 22.2 seconds. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. OK, here's the gap that we're trading the car ahead by. 2.7 seconds. OK, that's lasting five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. Five laps left of fuel. Should have enough. Carlos is in the pit. Bye, Verstappen. Bye, mate. Behind on the medium tire now. We're gonna have to uh, push a bit because this guy's decided he's gonna he's gonna have a go at me. Gonna have a go at overtaking me. Well, I suppose that's the staff in here. Bit too fast into that corner. Not fast enough to crash, but. Fast enough to get onto a uh, bit far onto the rivets. Right, three, more laps. three more laps of fuel left. That's cool. And we're in lap 9 of 11. And we're currently leading. 
wrong form to win. There hasn't been any incidents really. Next time guys, a final lap, final lap. Bad. Are you alright? Let me know you're okay. Not because I uh, weren't concentrating. Doing alright for a while already so far. Or are rude or whatever. I think it's actually all rude. But... Anyway. Next time buys a final lap, final okay, lap. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. Final lap, final lap. Almost lost it on the exit there. Okay, this is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Kept in control, so that's a good thing. Let's try and get it perfect. In this final lap. And what do I do? I exceed track limit. Fantastic drive, that's just fantastic. Amazing, you deserve that race win. Well done, mate. And I just got driver of the day. A difficult race then on one of the all-time classic circuits, but they persevered to take the win here today. Well, Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. But what set them apart from the rest? I think we'll chalk this one up to a deft touch on the brake pedal. That's allowed them to challenge down the inside into the braking zones, and ultimately, if you do that often enough, you end up winning the race. It was great to watch as well, though, wasn't it? Forget strategy, forget tyre management. Who doesn't love a good old-fashioned scrap? Let's go. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Charles Leclerc showed exactly how to manage yourself out on the track today. He was almost flawless out there. Incredible stuff. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.
Constantine today with thousands in attendance.